Good morning, friends. Today is our first stop on our 2022 summer adventure. We are staying at the Cape Girardeau RV Park in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Today we're going to show you around this little park. This is our second visit here. Uh, you can see our first review and I'll post a link right up here. Anyway, we're going to show you around this park a little and we're also going to show you around Cape Girardeau a little bit today. So stick around with us and we'll show you around. Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to be alerted when our latest videos are posted. Some things never change. They have paved the road this year after we were here two years ago. Road really needed it. The pool is open this Memorial Day weekend. Nobody in it. But it is open and it is nice, clear, clean. Wouldn't have a problem swimming in this one. And this playground area. Still just one item out here for the kids to do. To play in, climb on. But they're out riding their bikes and so forth. So it isn't too bad, I suppose. From two years ago, it looks like the um, mini golf has not had any upgrades whatsoever. Still need some new carpet. Bricks are still removed. And I have seen no one playing. So they still have water and air hose. They still do the propane for folks that needs propane. The office hasn't changed at all. Uh, it is closed, it's after five o'clock. They close at five o'clock. And uh, I see nothing different except for the roads have been paved. And they do need to grow the grass. I mean, I'm sorry, they do need to mow their grass. That's an overview of the campground right now. Not a lot in here. However, there's, there's quite a few, I guess there is. And there's quite a few seasonals or monthlies in here. Uh, when we got here, this row right in front of me right there was empty except for me and one other camper. And we got here Thursday, today, Saturday. So yeah, they do have a little brisk business this uh, weekend. Memorial Day weekend, they should be full, but it's almost full. And the clubhouse. Now we're coming up on D row and this road here in front of me was one of the worst roads in the park when we were here two years ago. They do have a small fishing pond that you can catch and release. I've seen a few people fishing in there. There's also a lot of geese along the uh, road there and a pond. Uh, you, nice walking area, you just have to watch your step. And this is the bathhouse and uh, restroom. Shower house still closes at five, six o'clock on weekends, opens at nine. And uh, pan around this way, this is the storage area back here. It goes all the way around up that way. Used to be tent sites, now it's storage. Folks, uh, you if you've watched our last video, you can see that not much has changed in the uh, Cape Camping RV Park here in Cape Girardeau. Although it is a nice little park, it was about $47 a night to stay here, and we needed a spot to stay to visit our daughter. So let's take a look around at the rest of Cape Girardeau. Fort A is one of the two forts we will be visiting while at Cape
This is all that remains of the old bridge, which was demolished in 2003. Fort D is located five blocks south of the intersection of Missouri Route 74 and Sprigg Street in Cape Girardeau, just west of the Bill Emerson Bridge that spans the Mississippi River. During our visit to Fort D historical site, we were lucky enough to witness a reenactment. While visiting Cape Girardeau, don't forget to get down to the riverfront where the levee wall has beautiful murals on either side of it. And you maybe even get to see a barge or two on the Mississippi River. Don't forget to get your cameras out and take plenty of pictures. Beautiful, beautiful area. Thanks for watching. Down below in the comment section, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think of our adventure today. We'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, tap that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for bumming around with us today. Safe travels, and may the good Lord take a liking to you.